All right, everyone, welcome back. So we continue on in our prospect pool overviews today with the Buffalo Sabres. And if I had this, if I had to describe, sorry, Buffalo's prospect pool in one word, I would just say exciting. I like the guys in their pool a lot. It's one of my favorite pools overall. And in the past couple of years, they have collectively just been taking players that I really like, that I liked heading into the draft, that I wouldn't mind having on my teams. And Buffalo just keeps taking the guys I want. Uh, and of course, we'll start off with Zach Benson, a left wing from Langley, Canada, five foot ten, 170 pounds, a Helenka Gretzky gold winner in 22-23. Um, of course, he was drafted 13th overall in this past year's draft. And he was a guy that, as a Coyotes fan, I was looking a lot into, and I wanted him on my team. I was like, you know what? We get a defenseman like Simashev. Good move. Now I want a guy like Zach Benson, a forward who can play very good and maybe undersized, but still very fast and a great playmaker. And we picked Danil Boot. Yeah, uh, I'm not mad with the Boot pick. I don't hate it, but I still would have preferred Benson. Uh, but I think Buffalo got a really good steal there. Uh, in Benson for sure. 60 games played this past year with the Winnipeg Ice. He had 36 goals, 62 assists for 98 points. He's listed as being a great playmaker and is scrawny, a scrawny type player, but he still is very fast, has good speed to him, and definitely a good guy to have on your roster for sure. Uh, what I would imagine is Benson's going to play here with the uh, Wachikachi Wild is what I'm going to expect is going to happen, or he will come over and play uh, with the um, Rochester Americans. So that is something that I could also see happen as well. Uh, but of course, uh, we'll find out if uh, Benson will come over. But nonetheless, still a very exciting prospect. And then we'll look at his teammate, uh, Matthew Savoy, a center from St. Albert, Canada, five foot nine, 179 pounds. This was another guy that I wanted on my team. Of course, both both players uh, in Savoy and um, or both player both teams, sorry, in Philly and uh, Arizona, my two favorite teams, were obviously, you know, before that. And when they didn't pick Savoy, I don't mind Cooley and Gauthier. I might be wishing in a few years that the Flyers did pick Savoy instead of Gauthier. But regardless, um, I still wanted Savoy on my team, and he went to Buffalo, of course. Uh, definitely a great pick for sure. And they're really starting to, like, make this Winnipeg ice the Buffalo Sabres. It's like the Buffalo ice. It's kind of funny. Uh, drafted ninth overall, of course, as I mentioned. In 62 games played this past year with the ice, he had 38 goals, 57 assists for 95 points. Um, he is undersized, yes, he's actually shorter than uh, Benson, but he's still dynamic. He's a few years away uh, from the top six potential. What I would imagine is he's probably going to play another year in the WHL, and then maybe, or maybe he just jumps over to the AHL. I'm not entirely too sure. Again, I'm not an expert at every team's prospect pool, so I don't really know what the plan is. Um, but most likely, uh, Savoy will be there in training camp and maybe will play um, in Rochester. It's very possible. But that's why I see maybe his next step going. He's still probably two to three years away from, or maybe one to two, not two to three. Maybe one to two years away from, you know, being in the NHL. Maybe he plays a few games this season. But regardless, I don't expect Savoy to see the NHL for a little bit. And that's okay. Buffalo doesn't really... They're not really worried about that. They still have a very young and exciting team with the guys they already have. So definitely Savoy there. I'm definitely excited for. Another guy is Yuri Kulich, uh, center from Kadan, Czechia. Uh, six foot, 179 pounds, so the average size there. Uh, drafted 28th overall in 2022, and he could be a really good pick. In 62 games played this past year with the Rochester Americans, he had 24 goals, 22 assists for 46 points. Listed as being a great two-way player on both ends of the ice. Definitely a good guy to have on your roster for sure. So, yeah, I like Kulich there a lot um, as a prospect for Buffalo. And honestly, like, you look at their offensive guys alone, they have really, really good offensive prospects. The defense is a little weaker. I had to do some research looking at some guys that are, you know, not as well known and look for some guys there. But, you know, the offense, I could list so many offensive players. Like, there's Ostland, Rosen, Weisbach. There's just so many other offensive prospects that you could mention. Uh, but yeah, I picked Coolidge, Benson, and Savoy because I think they're the most exciting. Uh, moving on to your defensive prospects, you have Ryan Johnson, a, a defensive from Irvin, USA. He's six foot, 170 pounds. Uh, he was the U-20 World Junior Gold in 2021. Uh, so obviously he has that in his resume. Uh, drafted 31st overall in 2019. 
um, a while ago, actually. Um, and I would expect that if he doesn't play this coming season, he's likely not going to play for Buffalo, for being honest. It, we're getting to that point where it's been a while. Yes, he's going to take more longer than others to develop, but I don't believe he's signed either, so that's the problem. Uh, in 40 games played this past year with the University of Minnesota, he had four goals, 14 assists for 18 points. Not bad there for a defenseman for sure. Uh, listed as being a fleet foot mobile defender and a guy who can move very well with the puck. Um, but definitely a much more defensive type player there for sure. But I like Johnson there a lot. Hopefully he can make the jump over soon. Um, and there's plenty of Johnsons that will uh, accompany him. Um, this next guy I had to do some research and try and find him. I went to this past year's draft. Uh, he was their second round pick. Uh, Maxim Sturbach, a defender from Kosai, Slovakia. Uh, six foot two, 205 pounds. He was drafted 45th overall in 2023, as I mentioned. And in some 46 games played with the Sioux Falls Stampede, which I believe is the United States Hockey League, if I'm correct. Uh, he had 46, or he had five goals, not 46 goals. He had five goals, 13 assists for 18 points. Not bad there for a defenseman. Uh, listed as being a two-way defender, uh, a great skater overall. So a good guy to have on your blue line there for sure. Maybe it could be a solid second-round pick. Uh, but he is still a long ways away before we say, yeah, he is a developed NHLer and he can make the NHL. He is still a ways away before he gets there. But Sturback, like him a lot. I like looking at guys like that that aren't as well known. And Sturback, of course, was just drafted and might not be too well known to Buffalo fans. Their goalie prospect. Um, he did play games this past year with Buffalo, but he still is a prospect. It's Devin Levi, a goalie from Montreal, Canada, six foot, 185 pounds. Uh, he won the world chip in 22 23 this past season. So obviously, he has that on his resume. And he's probably a top three goalie prospect in the entire NHL. He is up there in stats. He's done very well in the seven games he played with the Buffalo Sabres. And he went 5 2 0, a 2.94 goals against average, and a .905 save percentage. Uh, he's listed as being the next great Buffalo goalie after being drafted 12, 212th overall in 2020. So. Definitely. And honestly, I've seen a lot of Buffalo fans say, oh, he should be the starter and he should start. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I would honestly run a tandem with Levi and um, Comrie because even though he played well in those seven games, it's seven games. Like you, you don't really know what you're going to get out of Levi. You don't want to rush him either. And I'm not saying they should um, like put him down in Rochester, but you shouldn't rush him necessarily. Um, and put him with Comrie. Is that a is that a goal? Is that a playoff goalie tandem? Maybe not. But honestly, I wouldn't be so worried about it. You do want to make the playoffs this coming year, but I think you are in a good spot right now uh, where you don't need to start Levi unless if Comrie unless if it's like a Stuart Skinner scenario from last year where Jack Campbell played horrible out of the gate and then Skinner came in and rode out the rest of the season and was then a quarter finalist. Could that happen? Possibly. I mean, Comrie, I would say, is worse than Campbell. But, of course, I'm not trying to disrespect um, Comrie at all. But, yeah, I, I mean, it could happen. But I think the best scenario they want to go with is run a tandem with uh, Levi and um, Comrie, which is what they wanted to do with Skinner and Campbell. But, of course, that didn't happen. But, regardless, other prospects in the pool for Buffalo. I mentioned a few of them. Forward Noah Oslin, forward Isaac Rosen, forward Linus Weisbach, another one of my guys that I like there. Uh, and goalie Eric Portillo was another goalie in the system that was looking bright and looking solid. So that could be your, your next tandem. But, of course, uh, we'll find out. But regardless, that is your prospect pool overview for the Buffalo Sabres. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and I greatly appreciate it. The next one is the Colorado Avalanche, which is one of the weaker pools in the league, if I'm being honest. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.